Meghan and Harry have hired a nanny who signed an extensive NDA agreement, but hands-on Meghan is still staying up to nurse Archie at night, royal source claims. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have hired a nanny for baby Archie, according to a royal biographer. Katie Nichol, who has written a series of biographies on the royal family, has claimed that hands-on parents Prince Harry, 34 and Meghan, 37, have asked the royal child minder to sign an extensive non-disclosure agreement. However the nanny is not said to be on call for night shifts, with maternal Meghan staying up to nurse the one-month-old baby, who is reportedly a very hungry little boy. Katie told Entertainment Online, I've heard from very reliable sources that the new nanny who has been appointed by the Sussexes has had to sign quite an extensive non-disclosure agreement. Meghan's been up in the night nursing, feeding on demand every few hours. Apparently he's a hungry little baby. And speaking about how Meghan is letting her body heal naturally she added, Meghan hasn't been hitting the gym, she hasn't been in any hurry to get back into shape. No hard training. No weights. She's enjoying this time, she's being gentle to herself. Female has contacted the palace for comment. Over the weekend Meghan made her first post-baby appearance paying respect to the Queen's birthday as she attended Trooping the Color. The Duchess was seen sporting a new ring, a diamond eternity ring, which many assumed was a push present. However Katie refuted these reports, adding that she thought it was a first anniversary present, as the couple went on May 19, 2018. Katie also predicted that the pair could share another much-anticipated picture of little Archie on Father's Day after previously posting a picture of the little boy's feet on American Mother's Day. Meghan and Harry welcomed their son Archie on Monday 6 May. The little boy received a visit from Prince Harry's grandparents, the Queen and Prince Philip, a few days after his birth, alongside Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. Grandmother Doria, who had been staying with the family at Frogmore Cottage since before the birth, has since returned to her hometown of L.A.